Okay. Um, so question eight on the paper was also trigonometry. And we start with this really familiar shape of a, a bit of a, a sector of a circle with the end bit shaded in so that you make a triangle and then you make a, a segment at the end of it as well. The diagram shows the sector A, O, B of a circle with centre O and radius 5. Angle A, O, B is the feet of radius. The area of the triangle is 8 centimetres. 8, A, O, B is 8 centimetres. Um, right. Uh, <laughs> given that the angle theta is obtuse, find theta. Okay, well, um, what, what have we actually got to go on with this? Well, the only thing we really have in here is that the triangle has an area 8. That's, that's our bit of information that we can latch on to. That's the only thing we've really got to work with, this statement here. So the area of the triangle is 8. Um, we've got a formula for the area of the triangle. It's a half AB sine C. That's if we're working with a the triangle there. And so let's make sure that we're going to do this in radians. We've got, um, well, we've got A and B would be the two sides, either side of the angle. So it's actually what we're meaning here is that 8 is a half times 5 times 5 times sine theta. Okay, uh, so that's 8 is 12.5 sine theta. And if we rearrange that, we've ended up with a sine theta equals equation. Sine theta is um, 16.25. Is that right? Okay. So we're going to do inverse sine of that and get an answer in radians. Why would it be 16? Uh, that would be right, but if you do 8 divided by 12 and a half, it's 16 and oh, okay. Right. On your calculator, if we do inverse sine of 16 over 25, it gives you 0 0.694. Okay. How many of us would get to that point and think, yes, we found an angle, that'll do, double underline it, move on to the next bit? I think there'd be a temptation to do that, wouldn't there? But there's something in the question that tells us that that's not the right answer. What is it, Emily? I'm not sure we need to add pi, but we do need to sort out the fact that it's an obtuse angle and that isn't. That's it. So, so the problem here is that, well, we know what we mean by obtuse and acute angles. We know that an obtuse angle is one between 90 and 180, and acute is between 0 and 90. In terms of radians, 90 degrees is about 1.57, isn't it? It's half the pi. So because that number is less than 1.57, that's an acute angle. Do you get the idea that there are two triangles that fit the bill of what's going on here? There is one triangle that looks like that, where that's meant to be a triangle, where those two sides are fine, and that's the angle theta. And that triangle would have area 8. There's another triangle that looks like the one in our diagram. Though it has the two sides of five and area eight. They both have the same area, they both have the same two sides, but they have a different angle inside them. Okay, that one is kind of a, a long and thin triangle, and that one is a short and fat triangle, but they have the same area. And we wanted not that one, we wanted the other one. So we noticed that the angle that we've come up with is an acute angle, so to find the obtuse angle, we find the other angle that we would get. Uh, we just talked about whether we use the graph or the cast diagram to do these things. It's, uh, the idea here is that there's a sine graph. You get two, you get one between 0 and 90, and one between 90 and 180. So, 
So our other value that we want is pi minus 0.694. So we end up with an answer, I think I've got this written down, 2.45 it should come up with. Radians for 350 figures. Okay, bit of a sneaky question there to throw in the whole obtuse angle bit, um, just to trick you off at the end of it. The shaded segment in the diagram is bounded by the chord AB and the arc AB. Find the area of the segment. Giving your answer correct as three significant figures. Now, uh, the segment is what we get if we do the, the whole area of the sector, take away the area of the triangle. So the segment is, well, the area of the sector, uh, you know, sometimes we may, we may go straight in with this, with the whole formula for this, which says a half r squared theta, take away a half r squared sine theta. And you can maybe kind of simplify that a little bit, factorise that out and work with that. But actually in this case, we know the area of the triangle already, don't we? This is going to be a half r squared theta. Take away 8. Because we know that the area of the triangle is 8. We've given that in the first part of the question. So we're going to do a half times 5 squared times 2.45. But when we do 2.45... We are going to use the value that we saved in our calculator when we did pi minus 0.695, just to make sure that we get this, uh, we maintain the accuracy in this. And has anybody done it? Or no, I've done it. I think I've got 22.6 centimeters squared right down here. Does that look right? Anybody agree? Yes. Is that agreement, Rich? Yeah. Brilliant. Great. Okay, part three. Uh, find the perimeter of the segment, giving your answer correct to three significant figures. Right, let's go back and look at our diagram then. The perimeter of the segment, well, the first bit's going to be easy enough. Yeah. So in our in this there's that's pi there and that's two pi. And so the first value, at that point the second value, is the same distance away from pi as that one was from zero. <coughs> the other the other way of thinking about it is if we've done it on the cast diagram, we've drawn the two values there and there, haven't we? And so you normally take it away from 180. But because we're doing radians, we're taking it away from pi. Brilliant. Um, so we're looking at we're looking at the the, the, <coughs> the total perimeter of the shaded area. Now one bit is easy. Round the outside there, that bit is our theta. That's the arc length. This bit's a bit more difficult. But how are we going to find this straight line? The, the third side of the triangle. pretty perfectly set up, isn't it? Because we've got, we've got the angle that's opposite to it and the two sides adjacent to it. And that's a perfect cosine rule set up. That's, that's the third side of the cosine rule. So, the perimeter is made up of the arc, and the arc is r theta, which is 5 times 2.45, Again, we're going to use our full um, unrounded version for doing that. And I'm not sure what that is. 12 point something, is it? 12.2. Cool. And we've also got the, the length, the third length of the triangle, which would be called, what have we got? AB. Right, length AB, and we know from the cosine rule that AB squared would be 5 squared plus 5 squared minus 2 times 5 times 5 times the cosine of the angle, 
which is 2.45. And I'm, I'm kind of stressing this, but you know, uh, we would have made sure at this point here, when we found 2.45, we will have saved that in our calculator. You know how to save it in the memory of your calculator? Um, and then using that, that stored value in all of these calculations. And then we make sure there's no chance of any rounding errors coming into this. Uh, that, I think, gives us 88.419 when I did it. Do we agree with that? <coughs> And A, B would be the square root of that, which is 9.403. So the perimeter is 12.2 plus 9.403, which is 21.6 to 3 significant figures. Okay. Um, again, if anybody's not sure how to store a value in your calculator so that you can keep on using it, then that, that could be something we look at this afternoon, bringing calculator along and I'll show you how to do that. It's really easy to do. And you've got lots of memories in your calculator that you can store values and keep using them. There we are. Is everybody happy with that? Any questions? Cool. That's maths. <laughs>